So how do we know we did a good job? How do we know we got all the material? Well now I've moved my pointer down to the end of the list so that I can insert a new operation. And I'm going to go to Tool Pass and I'm going to select Stock Model. And with Stock Model what I can do is use this to compare what I've done against the actual model of the part. And I'm going to give this a name. And I'll call it Final Toolpath Compare. And for my stock, I'm going to tell it to use my original stock setup. So it goes to look at my stock setup, and it uses those values. Now we go to our source operations. This is where we're going to tell it the toolpaths we want to use to check our work. And I'm going to pick this entire toolpath group. So all of these operations are selected. Now here you can control the tolerance to which it will create the stock model. So I'm going to tell it I want the path tolerance to be within one thousandths of these original tool paths to create my stock model. Now it's also looking at the tool shape and it's going to compare that tool shape within a thousandths of the actual shape. The smaller you make these, the longer it takes to calculate. Next we're going to go to the compare option in the tree and tell it that we want to do a stock compare. So once it creates the stock model, I want it to compare that stock model against something else. And here I can pick what I want to compare it to. So I will pick the arrow to select this, the original solid model, and I will end my selection. So now it knows what it's comparing it to. There's also a part tolerance for the comparison and I have that set to one thousandths. Now here is the color range that we will see for the comparison. So if it's at or less than two thousandths, it will be green. If it's greater than twenty thousandths, it will be red. And then in between there, we will have this dark blue and dark green. So if we see any of these shades, we'll know the stock is somewhere between over two thousandths and under twenty thousandths because anything greater than twenty will be red. So those colors will usually show up in the corner areas depicting leftover stock. So now let's OK this and it will start to create that model. So we can see the little green spool of thread here showing that it's a threaded operation. This is all happening in the background to calculate and I could continue on with some other toolpath or something else that I want to do while it's calculating for this stock model. But essentially, I'm just going to wait for the stock model to calculate. And this could take a few minutes. And here we can see the result. So it created a stock model. And remember, green shows that it's either right on the money or it's within two thousandths of the actual surface. And everything on here looks pretty green. We've got a couple of dark spots right in here. So I'm going to do a zoom target around this point. Let's see what we get. So there's a couple areas here that are blue. So these are probably a little over two thousandths but less than ten thousandths. I'm guessing they're smaller than ten thousandths. So you know what you have there if you need to go change your step over to make sure it completes that cut that's something you can do but at least you can see what you have here and that's what the stock model comparison is for it allows you to compare your tool paths against the actual stock model to see just how close you are so again, there are some cusps on here that must be a little bit bigger than the 2000s. So if you change that step over for this cut, these would disappear.